here is Henry Kissinger. By the way, amazing, right? Henry Kissinger. I just want to say that I, when I was a student at Columbia University, was living at a place called the International House, which was, um, well, cheap housing for me. But we had people from all over the world that were living there. And so we had the opportunity to listen to some really interesting speakers. Henry Kissinger was one of them. And I know that one of my very good friends who's been on this program, um, it was was effectively sort of a... Um, a, a a mentee of his, and and she speaks so so highly of him, having worked in his for him during during the administration. Anyway, here is Kissinger. He's quite quite old, and he's very hard to understand. So I may have to translate a little bit. But I want you to hear what he's saying, which is that you know it was a huge mistake for Germany to take in so many Muslims with so many different religious and cultural backgrounds, because it's led to all kinds of other problems. You think about what's happening in Belgium. We know that two Swedish people were the victims of terrorist attacks there just yesterday. Listen to Kissinger. It was a grave mistake to let in so many people it was a grave mistake of totally different to let in so many cultural people and religious and totally different concepts and religious because concepts. it creates a pressure group because it creates inside a group. each country that does that. You get it? Okay. And yet we had Barack Obama as president who somehow wanted to, I don't know, remake the world and bring Iran to the table. And we're going to do this big Iran deal. And they thought that that would all work out just fine. They had that Robert, Robert Malley, who was a special envoy, who then got plugged right back in. You know, when people say, who's running this administration? Think. Think for a second, because clearly not Joe. Clearly not Joe. You got all the same people from Obama including the same special envoy, Robert Malley, who was fired for mysterious reasons, who now Tablet, which is a uh, publication magazine, came out and said the guy was basically a spy. I mean, the spy, spy is, a, is, a, is a tough word, only in that I don't know if he was ever being paid by Iran, etc. But clearly, he was taking orders from Iran. So do with that what you might. He clearly had an ideological point of view that was not really in sync with where we historically have been as a country. And yet, Zarif is telling him, oh, put this one in or that one. Allegedly, he was. Again, this is all reporting from Tablet Magazine. I encourage you to check it out. I don't know. But all I do know is that you had the same cast of characters that went in after Obama. We know Obama really didn't like Israel very much. I mean, think about that. What was his first, his first big trip? It was not, not to Israel, but to Cairo. I mean, he, he kind of, you know, then there was that time that he left Netanyahu waiting for, for while well, he had dinner for two hours. I mean, he, he kind of took every chance he could, as much as he could, to kind of stick it to Israel. Even in this particular event, and in, in this horrific terror attack, what, it took him days, like four days, to express any condolences for the Israeli people. That is not cool. It's just not cool. But this is what we've been living with for some time. And I think in part, I don't know, because of some funding that has happened at some of these U.S. universities and these very prestigious elite institutions, you've had this kind of group think that's set in. And whether it's about transgenders or Black Lives Matter, so like there's a kind of elevation, if you would, of the smallest, smallest minority in the population. Hey everyone, Trish Regan here. If you enjoyed that clip, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Did I do that right? Uh, not quite, but you know where it is. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get the alerts, and I'll see you back on the show.